Very tiny snail brains could one day make a big medical difference. Thanks to those snails, Calgary researchers can now monitor brain activity so closely they have opened up a whole new world of possibilities. Heather Urex with that story. It's a highly sophisticated computer system that no one fully understands. Our brain is made up of tens of billions of cells, each powered with an elaborate electrical network to form thoughts, memories, and action. The ion channels are the one that will determine the behavior of a particular brain cell or the network of brain cells. But when those channels start to short circuit, our body's computer malfunctions. The result, diseases like Alzheimer's and MS. But what if those malfunctioning channels could be repaired? The things that we thought were the frontier that cannot be conquered, we are actually knocking on the door. The Calgary research team that first put brain cells onto a microchip has now discovered a way to get up close and personal with how our brain's wiring works, giving researchers hope that repairing short circuits could one day be possible. We have gotten to the whisper that we can unravel. We can really discover you know, the secrets of the, the chatter between the brain cells that occur through the ion channel activity. Dr. Syed has high hopes that one day implanted neurochips will be able to repair damaged brain activity. But for right now, this Calgary technology is something pharmaceutical companies are excited about. Instead of having a single technician spend hours testing one drug, we can now have 30 or 40 of these lined up, um, all of them attached to machines, and actually just add the drugs to them and we can screen multiple compounds all at once. Placing a great deal of hope on these tiny computer chips, hope that they could potentially hold the keys to unlocking ways to cure so many brain disease. Heather Urex, Global News. Researchers now hope to use brain tissue from epilepsy patients to develop drugs tailored specifically for individual patients.